Uh, Brian Howard. I'm Charlene Alexis. Nice to meet you, Charlene. Um, what do you love about Utica? Um, well, the, the position that I, I feel, I run the Oneida County Historical Society, mm -hmm. so I've been given a, a good opportunity to look long back into Utica's history and uh, really gain an appreciation for uh, how this area fits into the story of our nation. Where are you from originally? Uh, originally, I, I grew up in New Berlin down in Shenango County and um, I left there in the 1980s and came back to, to central New York about 10 years ago. Uh, so my experience with Utica had pretty much been coming up and going to the, the Sanger Town Square mall in, uh, in New Hartford. Uh, didn't have a lot to do with downtown Utica until I started working up in the city about four years ago. What did you find um, when you first came to Utica, like the beauty? How did you find out about the beauty of Utica? Uh, I was impressed primarily uh, with the architecture. The, uh, the structures in uh, up and down Genesee Street especially are a, a, a great mix of different architectural styles. Uh, you can see the, the international influence in, uh, in the way that the buildings are constructed here and the ones that are well maintained are really jewels for, for this area. So the architecture I, I, I thought was, was very impressive. The park system is also a great, uh, great resource for the community cultural organizations such as the Historical Society, the Utica Zoo, uh, of course, Munson Williams, Proctor Arts Institute. Um, I could go on and on about all of the great opportunities that there are in the city. How would you feel about bringing in newer, <laughs> newer generations mm -hmm. to find the beauty in Utica, just like you have? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the first thing I would encourage anybody who is interested in this area to do would be to visit the, the cultural institutions that I mentioned and uh, to learn a little bit about the area. There's no better place to learn about the local region than uh, those organizations that reflect history and culture. And uh, you can see the, the fantastic past, of course, at the, the Historical Society. The, the information is out there, so somebody who is interested should really visit these cultural institutions first. And of course, to see the beauty in uh, the region's art, um, Munson Williams Proctor is a great place to, to see as well. Okay, thank you for coming and sitting on our couch. Very welcome. Glad to be here.